I was tagged to do Queenie Todd's Werewolf Tag. I was tagged to do Queenie Todd's Werewolf Tag, and of course, I jumped at the chance to do this because I love horror, I love monsters, and I love anything that makes me go, <laughs> which werewolves do. And I'm not actually scared of dogs, but I probably would be scared of werewolves if confronted with one because I don't think I would be able to stand up to it. This quiz, this tag, has several questions and I will put them all in the description if you wish to play along. I tag anybody watching this to do Queenie's tag. What is your favourite werewolf film and why? Without a doubt for me that's an American werewolf in London. I cannot go into Tottenham Court Station without seeing that scene and seeing him run through the, the corridors and up the escalators. It's terrifying. And I also think even for its time it, it was visually compelling and wonderful. And the pub, the pub that, um, well you'll know about the pub that I mean, it's actually about 40 seconds by foot from my house. Are werewolves better than vampires? I, I think if done right, werewolf films look amazing compared to modern day vampire films which tend to be sparkly and not scary. But personally, I am more interested in vampires than I am werewolves. Name the most brutal film you've watched in a werewolf film. For me, I'm just going to have to say all of the werewolf scenes in Ginger Snaps. I found them so compelling and captivating and kind of gory and really frightening. What is the best werewolf transformation you've seen? Without a doubt, an American werewolf in London. If you haven't seen the film at all, then at least go onto YouTube and watch the transformation scene. I'm confident that it will be on YouTube. It's just, given the age of the film, it's incredible, but even by today's standards, that transformation is impeccable. What's the silliest or worst werewolf film you've seen? Without a doubt, it's Werewolves of the Third Reich. Now, I studied the Second World War in Nazi Germany for many years at school, and I've always had an interest in it. So I thought, yeah, let's give this a go. Oh my goodness, it's like the weirdest film I've ever seen. What was your first werewolf film? Now, I was a timorous child, scared of everything. So I didn't really watch any monster-based films, apart from Scooby-Doo, until I was an adult. Or at least a, a kind of teenager. But I kind of feel like it would have just been Prisoner of Azkaban, if that counts. I kind of feel it'll count. But my also other earliest experience with a vampire werewolf, even, would have been Tooth and Claw, Doctor Who. So maybe around about 2006, because I started watching it Christmas Day 2005. So I've been watching vampire werewolves. My goodness, what is wrong with me? Werewolves since, a, for about 12 years. What is your favourite werewolf legend? To be honest, I don't really think there's any because as I said, I'm more actively interested in, in vampires and things than I am werewolves, as apparent by the fact that I keep saying vampires in this video. But I think uh, the Irish werewolf Savossary, I, I think that's probably the one that I'm most interested in. But by all means, if there's any legends or folklore or, or historical werewolf tales that you think that I should be looking into, let me know in the comments as I'm definitely keen to explore that more. Thank you for watching this, a lot of fun. Thank you to Queenie Todd for creating this. She recently did a, a werewolf month on her channel. So I will link her in the description. She's definitely worth checking out if you not already are subscribed and I'll speak to you all soon.